Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to authorize Droyo to access your Google Drive. Let's begin. Now, to authorize Droyo to access your Google Drive, all you have to do is follow these simple steps. Once you are in the Droyo website, click the start button. You see, Droyo platform doesn't require you to log in or to register. It's very easy. All I have to do is you can click the download button if you want to open it offline or use it as a separate application. But if you want to authorize Google Drive, all you're going to do is click the start button. This will forward you to a new page wherein you are prompted to choose a storage location. All right, so you have six options. Number one option is going to be choosing Google Drive, OneDrive, your device or your local computer, Dropbox, GitHub, and JetLab. But of course, if you want to decide that later, you can do that by clicking this option. For in this instance, we're going to make sure we are choosing the Google Drive and we will be forwarded to click the Authorize option. All right. Now, all I have to do is click the Authorize option. You would be forwarded here. Where all I have to do is log into your Google Drive account. All right. If you haven't already, just click the uh, following options and just follow with the on screen instructions. In my case, I'm going to be choosing this one. Click on next. I'll be forwarded to enter my password. Now, once you opened the Droyo, the web version, the online version, if you hover to the file section, you have multiple options here. For example, we wanted to import an image from Google Drive. Click on that, and from here, you might want to choose any of the following options here. I'm going to select this image right here. Select it, and I will be able to import an image right here. It takes a little while. All right, so once I'm successful, you can now import images from Google Drive straight back here in Droyo. Why? Because you authorize these platforms to seamlessly work together smoothly now the next option is once you are happy with the uh, diagram that you have created here all i have to do now is click on the export button for example we're going to be uh, exporting this diagram into a jpeg or a pdf click the export button but you have all of these settings that you want to edit if you want click the export now you can save it to google drive because you have authorized that all right click on save and you will be forwarded to and it will be saved to your cloud storage in google drive thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next video